In this video, we'll cover how to record electronic drums with GarageBand. I'll start out by demoing how I set up my electronic drums to record with GarageBand. I will be using the Alesis Nitro Mesh Kit. This is the back of the Alesis Nitro Mesh Kit's drum module. I connect my drum module to an audio interface with a MIDI cable. Here is the cable plugged into the MIDI out port in the back of the drum module. This is the other end of the MIDI cable plugged into the audio interface's MIDI in port. To the left of the MIDI in is the USB cable. You can see that it connects to my laptop's computer's USB port. This is the computer I host GarageBand on. To the right of the MIDI cable are two quarter inch cables that output sound to two monitor speakers. These are the speaker monitors that I output sound to. In the front of the audio interface are inputs for both a guitar and a microphone for others that I will be jamming with. I also have a pair of headphones plugged into the front of the audio interface in case I need to be quiet. The biggest benefit of the audio interface is the ability to output sound to monitor speakers and it also gives you the ability to jam and record with others. You don't need an audio interface to record electronic drums with GarageBand. I do it because of the benefits I just mentioned. Let's take a look at recording without an audio interface. If you want to record your electronic drums without an audio interface, you can connect your drum module to your device hosting GarageBand using a USB cable. Your drums will then be recognized as a software instrument. Let's take a look at the important configurations of the drum module. This is the drum module I'll be using in this video. It is the drum module for the Alesis Nitro Mesh Kit. This drum kit module is similar to other electronic drum kit modules. Recording your electronic drums with GarageBand, you can utilize the following outputs. If you want to connect directly to your device hosting GarageBand, use the USB port as shown here. If you want to connect to an audio interface, you can either use a MIDI cable, like here, or a quarter inch cable, as shown here. Next, we'll explore the digital audio workstation otherwise known as the DAW. We'll be using GarageBand for our digital audio workstation. For this video, a digital audio workstation, or DAW, is software that is used for recording, editing, or producing audio files. DAWs are produced by several companies and come with many different forms and features. DAWs provide a user interface that allows the producer to alter and mix multiple recordings and tracks into a finished piece. DAWs are useful in any situation where complex recorded audio is needed. Popular DAWs include GarageBand, Logic Pro X, Pro Tools, Ableton, and several others.
Let's see how an audio interface can fit into the equation. An audio interface converts microphone and instrument signals into a format your computer software recognizes. An audio interface also outputs audio from your computer out to your headphones and studio monitor speakers. Here are a couple examples of Focusrite Scarlett audio interfaces. Now we'll see how to set up your electronic drum track in the digital audio workstation. In this case, GarageBand. To create a track for your drums in GarageBand, go to the track drop-down list and select New Track. Select the software instrument box and click on the Create button. Once your track has been created, navigate to the drum kits in your instrument library and choose a kit of your choice. My new drum kit track has now been created and appears here. Next, we'll take a look at what to consider when recording with GarageBand. Navigate to your audio preferences and make sure the input device and the output device are set correctly. This section contains the record button, the play button, and the fast forward and rewind buttons. Also, by clicking on the smart control icon, there are several key adjustments you can easily make to make your drum kit sound better. Use the count in tool to set the count in interval that precedes a recording. You can click on the count in icon here to toggle the count in on and off. You can also configure the count in via the recording drop down list. The metronome clicks at the project's tempo during playback or recording. Click on the metronome icon to toggle the metronome on or off. Let's explore some options for outputting sound while recording your electronic drums. Several possibilities for outputting sound include using headphones on your audio interface, using headphones on your device, outputting to a speaker from your device, or outputting to speaker monitors from your audio interface. Finally, I'll offer some tips and tricks. The multi-port USB adapter.
A multi-port USB hub can come in handy with this setup, especially if you want to use the keyboard or other USB devices. You may also need to pick up a USB converter depending upon which hardware you are using. Get a little extra help with the help icon. Click here on the help icon to activate help menus. As you can see, when you hover over different functions of GarageBand, help menus appear to provide guidance on the current topic. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below.